Yeah, before I get started, uh, I know the South Dakota State staff pretty well. The um, known Eric Henderson for a while. Buddy of mine, T.J. Hotspur, who's the head coach at Iowa State, was there before. And their, their assistant Brian Peterson had to actually had out of town an emergency this afternoon. I've known Petey for a long time. His uh, his dad's, I guess, in a life or death situation back in Iowa. So just wanted to wish South Dakota State family, Brian. And his family, uh, you know, hopefully his dad uh, does better, but he had to fly out to get to Clinton, Iowa this afternoon. So before we get started, but I, and I really appreciate them coming over. I, it was a quality team. It gave us a great game. We knew they would. They've won their league last year. And they're, they're a good team. We told our guys they'd be a good team. Gave us everything we could handle. You know, they outscored us in transition. You know, they, they exposed a lot of stuff we need to work on. So, that's why we play these uh, games, though. You know, it's good we could get a win while we got plenty of stuff exposed. You know, I thought offensively we were pretty good tonight, particularly uh, late first half through the second half. Defensively, we got a long ways to go. But good thing is we got we got some time to work on it. But, you know, so we're going to have to be better on Tuesday against South Alabama than we were tonight. But Keon Ellis – been unbelievably good for us. I think shoot, he's plus 26 tonight. I think in two games, he's plus 63. You know, he got a seat uh, or his career high in rebounds again. I think he had it Tuesday. Now he beat that again with 13. You know, get 13 rebounds from a guard's pretty impressive. So we ended up out rebounding these guys by nine, but it was a struggle for a while there. So, you know, obviously Shireman's big guard, <laughs> he had 18. So our our big guard at 13, there's at 18. So, I mean, they, they you know, he, he's alone. He obviously was really good. Friedel off the bench killed us. We just, we got to do a better job in transition, D. We got to do a better job guarding the three-point line. Got to do a better job, you know, on some of the uh, rebounding stuff. But offensively, I thought we were pretty good tonight. Yeah, Coach, we saw Juwan go down in, in the first half. Just you have an update on his status. You know what? Uh, it's a soft tissue injury. They're not quite sure what it is. They're going to get an MRI and an X-ray first thing in the morning, and we'll know more from there. But just it's his right ankle, we, we, and we don't know exactly what it is right now. In the second half, you had a couple of runs, 10-0, 11-0 run. I think the 11-0, you guys had three straight blocks on the defensive end down in, in the paint. Uh, can you just take us through that stretch and what you saw? Yeah, I um, if I remember right, Charles had the one. Uh, Harris Miles had one, and then I no yeah, no I had the other one. The uh, I think we scored seven points right off those blocks. I think so. You know when our defense was good, our offense was feeding off it pretty well. But you know we just got to get a little bit more of that. I think our athleticism took over the game a little bit in some regards. You know, did a hard time scoring over Charles, I and mean, we were significantly better when Charles was in the game. You know, you look at our defense like. Overall, we had we had ourselves at like a 1.11 on the defensive end, which is not good. I mean, last year we were a uh, 0.91 in SEC games, so to give up 1.11 against this team wasn't good. But you look look down the line of which guys were in, like Charles, we were a 0.89, you know, when he was in the game. So, you know, he obviously kind of anchored that defense when he was not in the game. We weren't very good, so. We were able to play him 24 minutes. It's a good thing he stayed out of foul trouble as good as he played for us defensively. But, you know, we we got to get some some other bigs, give us some better production in there, you know, particularly no one Keon Ambrose on the defensive end. But Char Charles, Charles is really good for us tonight. Yeah, on, on Charles, I mean, how did you see him take steps from, from game one to game two in terms of uh, just his poise and, and how he carried himself? You know, he stayed out of foul trouble. I think his uh, size bothered him inside. He, uh, you know, he rebounded it fairly well. You know, he made some really good reads. Kind of, we got the, got the ball in the pocket. He found uh, shooters. I mean, shoot, he had two assists, no turnovers. So, you know, I, I thought uh, he, he's he's looked good in practice. I mean, he's you know he's a lob target. JD found him on the one. I thought I think somebody else might have found him on one. Uh, kind of got taken out, but he still caught it and was able to spray it out. We ended up scoring on that possession. So he's doing a really good job on both ends of the floor and 
gives us that rim protection we need. And we're just going to keep working with him, get him stronger. And but shoot, I mean, he shot six or seven from the floor and had 12, six and two with no turnover. So I was pretty happy with his play. Another one on Charles, though, not only with his rebounds, how advanced is he with his, his basketball IQ and the way he's able to position himself to kind of, even if when he doesn't get the rebound, it seemed like he positioned himself where Keon might have been able to get the rebound. Or... Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, he's taken up a lot of space in there. They've got to pay, pay a lot of attention to him. And then, you know, I don't have it in front of me, but like, you know, that's where like your defensive leverage comes into play, like our HTI guys, how much better are, are we as a team rebounding the ball? when he's in the game. So I'm sure he'll be one of our higher defensive rebounding leverage guys. But, you know, I, I you know, he, he's been good in practice. We, we didn't get to see a ton of him in that first game just because of foul trouble. He's, he's got a high IQ. He asks a lot of questions. Every time coming out of timeout, he wants to make sure he knows exactly where he's supposed to be. You know, we need some more guys to be like that. Sometimes we come out of timeouts and guys aren't in the right spot. That's never him because he makes sure that he asks the right questions. He asks a lot of questions in practice. He studies a lot of film. I mean, he takes the game very seriously, and and you can tell when he's playing because he t tends to be in the right spot all the time. Coach, you took a timeout pretty early in the game in South Dakota State, just taking a 13-11 lead. What what were you kind of seeing out of your team at that point, and then what did you see after that point? I didn't like our effort. I didn't think we were playing hard enough. I didn't think our transition sprint backs were good enough. I didn't think we were – getting talked and matched well enough. I, I just, we, we got to play harder all the time. I, I'm not, I mean, this is a good win against a really good team. So I don't want to take anything away from this win, but we're, our defense is not anywhere close to where it needs to be right now. And until we get some of our key players really buying into like talking, sprinting, getting matched up, like just some simple stuff like that. I didn't think we did a good job with it. So want to make the point. I mean, you got the timeout in the first half. You don't use it, you lose it. So, you know, if there's no issues, I usually save those till late in the half. Well, we had some issues, so I went ahead and used it early. So that kind of feeds into what I was saying. The, the way they – San Diego – or South Dakota State never really uh, got blown away. Like you guys, they kept it close. You know, they never – you never really put them away. And what do you think went into that in the second half? Yeah, I mean, if you look, we went up 18 with six minutes to go – in the game, and then, like, we count these four-minute battles every media timeout. I think we had us – we gave up in the last two four-minute battles, so kind of that last seven minutes and some change, probably that last six minutes. We gave up 27 points. So, you know, we lost the eight-minute to, eight to four-minute one, 16 to 13. Defensively, we were 1.77, which is a disaster. And then we won the last four minute one twelve to nine, but defensively we, we were at one point two nine, which isn't very good either. Like we just we didn't finish them the way we needed to. But that, again, a lot of that goes to them not quitting, playing hard, playing the right way, staying in the game. You know, Fredell torched us tonight. I mean, did twenty three points off the bench. I think our our bench was outscored fifty two to nineteen. That's a problem. We got to get better bench production. Obviously, with Jawan getting hurt, that that hurt our bench production today. And you know, so really, we just kind of had JD and Darius Miles, and, and they both played well. You know, but wasn't one of JD's better scoring games. But Dar Darius has been giving us really good minutes off the bench. But you know, that shoot, they play well. I mean, this this is a team that that returns. They won their league last year, and it, you know, you saw what Oral Roberts was able to do in the tournament. They they won the regular season over Oral Roberts. They, they returned 99% of their points from last year. So, so when we, we schedule and HDI helps us do a schedule, like this game should be, you know, if they win their league, like they're predicted to, this should be a quality win. You know, I don't know that, you know, whether it's quad two or whatever it ends up being, like it should be a quality win for us because this team is going to go on a run and win a lot of games here. So give them a lot of credit. But again, I, I thought there was times in the game we could have buried them and just didn't get the stops we needed to to do that so a lot of stuff to work on but that's why we play these games we'll, we'll get better at it we'll be better next week than we were tonight for sure thanks appreciate it